But going into this game, no surprises here. We're, we're not seeing a Kate Core pick here. We're seeing exactly what we expect. Dobrain's Bryn, Cheddaro's Core, Viper's Vrax, and Ariel's Sentinel. Sentinel is another character, like Viper and Ariel, playing both characters that we really don't ever hardly see. And as always, I'm curious to see what this Vrax can do, especially against Dobrain and Cheddaro. Again, Cheddaro, who's uh, great at getting those gimps, can he face off against Viper? Dobrain going down with that axe. Nice recovery pick up. That recovery. It was a no little bit too yet. Very even damage. Now something Viper's going to have to worry about that I don't think he quite had to worry about too much before is the signature kit from both Core and uh, and the Bren here. Ooh. Dobrain's been using him. Chedro's been using him. And Ariel is actually the first to fall. Yeah, that really nice slide charge uh, neutral heavy from Dobrain getting that kill on Ariel pretty early. Everyone else is in red though. Nice recovery from Chedero. They've got the lead at Ariel and Dobrain are going to get a 2v2 combo before Viper arrives. And they've got Ariel all the way down to red ready to go to his last stock. Nice spiking instinct, tries to follow it up with a ground pound. Viper electing to go under the stage. We've seen him go under the stage quite a bit more than most people that we've seen today. <laughs> That's the second one in a row. Chedro manages to land the neutral stick, sending them down. He tries to go for a third one. All right, don't get too greedy. I bet you he's gonna find one. Oh, I, I, I'm sure he is. He's just gotta, just gotta be a little bit careful with it, you know? Weapon tossed down for the safe approach for Cheddar. It's going to be an on-stage one. It's not going to be on Ariel, though, his intended target. It ended up going on to Viper, which I think was better for him. I don't think it would have... It definitely would not have killed Ariel, but it absolutely killed a low defense of Brax with so much damage on his stock. And we have, like, a full stock lead for Cheddar. Cheddar just lost his first stock. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. Dobrain not going to be able to make it back. He's going to fall. That was his last stock. And now it's up to Chedro to make the 2v1 happen, which is perfectly viable considering he is white on his second stock. Man, what is going on with Dobrain today? That is just... Is he still I mean, I stuck in his last game or... Today. Like, he was very solid yeah. up until game five against Adi Mestic and Cake. Like... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. I would definitely agree with you. But what is it with him this game? Like, is is he is his mind still in last game or... It would be possible. Side signature picking up both Ooh. of the rest of the people still on the, on the, uh, on the board right now. Ariel being one of them. Can't risk too many hits. Ariel is in the red. Viper taking the lead here. And now Chedero finally looking to get some kills in. Nice neutral signature into the dare. Now he's got both of them in the red. Something he was looking for all along. And a side sig all the way from the middle of the stage is going to do it. Weapon throw against Ariel. Ooh. We've seen Cheddar Clutch before. D Light He's Recovery. definitely got the health lead to do it. Taking out Viper was the biggest step. Ooh. The weapon toss, Ooh. jumping over it. Running out of movement Ooh. options. Oh. See. Good weapon toss. The weapon toss absolutely killed him because he had to burn all of his options to avoid it. I wonder if he wouldn't have nared. Because his nair, like, halted his forward momentum. Yeah. I wonder if he didn't nair if he would have gotten back. I definitely understand his thought process there as he was trying to hit the nair and then get the chase dodge on hit. So I don't know if he didn't nair what would have happened there. The thing I'm is genuinely that curious on that. Ariel had that ground pound going uh, at the end there. If he hadn't nared, I think he would have just gotten hit by that. <sighs> but it seemed like from the on, replay, on but screen, it's but hard to tell in yeah. hindsight. He definitely was like between a rock and a hard place there. Extremely well done though by Ariel and Viper managing to make sure they did not lose that 2v1 lead that they had to Cheddar, who's been an absolute monster. And Dobrain 
Honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't switched his character. I know people in chat are wanting the switch to the more decks, but I think Dobrain is just like dead set on this Bryn. Chedro getting some nice damage on Viper, but not quite finding the kill. A side air from Ariel onto Viper is going to send him really far away, but he's still going to stay alive. Ariel is going to get a nice break dance for the kill on Chedro. Viper with the side air, not quite enough. He turns around, hits the neutral light on Chedro, hits the dare on Chedro. The ground pound, the weapon toss almost picks up that dare. Big ground pound from Viper onto Dobrain. Ariel and Viper looking so strong right now. They still have not lost their first stocks. They've got Chedero on the run. Dobrain is unable to get a, some big hits. Finally gets the Sair. Looking to finish off the stock of Ariel. Good neutral signature, but unfortunately, that's just not going to work out when uh, it's going to hit on stage. Ooh, they got the dodge from Dobrain, and Viper turned around and went in, but he ends up picking up the neutral air, taking away Ariel's first stock. But Chedro's taking some serious damage in the process, about halfway through his stock. There's a side signature coming out from Viper, and you see Ariel continuing the pressure onto Chedro. He hit the nair, he hit the recovery. Now Viper hits the neutral sig, and it's enough to kill. Chedro and Dobrain really starting to fall behind here. And Dobrain is just hanging back until Chedro gets back. But unfortunately, that means he's going to leave himself weaponless. And as he gets hit by these attacks, he continues to take damage that he cannot deal out to his opponents. Nice D-Light into the side light. Nair into the turnaround. Dare. Chedro taking so much punishment. The weapon toss, both of them almost hitting Chedro. Viper's looking for the finisher. Meanwhile, Ariel takes out Dobrain. Oh my god. That's the dare, and that is the stock for Chedro. Chedro is out, and Dobrain is looking at four stocks. Viper and Ariel played like a well-oiled machine this whole game. Constantly getting the follow-ups on each other. Dobrain and Chedro unable to do anything. You know, even some well-oiled machines ground pound themselves every once in a while, but... That's true, yeah. Regardless, Dobrain's going to need to make a huge comeback if he wants to be able to make this work. Fortunately, it doesn't look good for him. And that is going to be the dodge from Dobrain. He gets it again. God, he still has to look at two stocks. Almost <laughs> a fresh stock. Actually, he's putting some serious damage on a Viper. Ooh. Using a lot of his movement options there. Ariel coming in with the safe weapon toss edge guards. Classic for hammer players. Some very good play coming out from Dobrain. If he'd had a, like a little bit more of a lead to start off when this 1v2 started, he probably could have made it. Although technically he can make it now. I love Dobrain throwing the spear up, keeping himself safe above his head, but it's gonna be a falling side air in the middle of the stage. Viper is going to finish that off. Woo. And this time Chedero was the weak link in their team. Yep. And I don't wanna sleep on the big damage that came out from Ariel, 700 damage and then 500 from Viper. So just solid work from the red team as well. It seems like they have a handle. Ah. And chat is going to get what they've been asking for, the switch to the more decks from Dobrain. I think this might be the desperation pick. Well, I mean, he's got a very solid more decks. I don't, think, I don't know if desperation is the right word, but he does need a, a pick mix-up. I mean, he's staring at a 2-0 right now. Pick mix-up. Okay. Okay. Do we didn't... Didn't you talk about Dobrain having a desperation pick earlier? I yeah, you refused did. to comment on what I may or may not have said 10 Absolutely minutes ago. You did. <laughs> Although, from, from what I remember, I said the desperation pick would be in the form of cannon. Okay. That's, that's all I'm saying. Different words. You still talked about Dobrain having a desperation pick. Either way, Dobrain now with uh, armed with gauntlets, 
looking to make a big splash Ooh, in aerial. the edge guard department thanks to those gauntlets. But it's going to be Chedera who actually makes the big splash here with that edge guard onto Ariel, taking out that stock very, very early. And Ariel's been surviving all day. Like straight up, Destiny's Child, I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop what I'm going to work harder. Yeah. What you <laughs> said, man. I, you know I know all those songs. Yeah. Part of the creed. Classic Destiny's Child fan, man. I swear. Number one super fan. Yo, Brain, getting those uh those gauntlet reads. He's looking very strong. And he's looking to take out the stock from Viper. Viper not gonna bite. Avoiding those ground pounds really well. Chedero trying to see if he can distract Ariel so that Dobrain can focus on Viper. Oh Ooh. no. Big instinct from Viper. He's not able to finish off Dobrain's stock with the side air under the stage. <laughs> oh, Cheddar looks looking like he wants to with the side air. Oh, and the ground pound from Ariel. Dobrain just got bounced around. Cheddar does manage to get that stock that he was looking for from Viper, but Ariel is staying alive. He's just dashing between the two of them, hitting side lights. Ariel comes in, punishes the down sink with a stomp at the side air into weapon throw, hits the ground pound against Dobrain. Viper looking for a ground pound against Chedro. Is that going to spell his death? No, Ariel is there to back up his teammate. Chedro is going to stay alive, but he does not get what he came for. Dobrain looking for a scythe gimp. Dobrain with a scythe gimp. That's going to be it. That's going to be it. Now, red team is down to last stocks. And Dobrain continues to hit his teammate. Dobrain's been put in a lot of like just really rough positions today where he takes one hit, then Chedero will hit him, and then he'll take another hit, often ending in a kill from a member of the opposing team. Like it's just super unlucky for Dobrain in a lot of situations today. But fortunately it looks like he's uh he's playing really well on this one. He's got gotten down to red, but he's definitely between him and Chedero, I think he's gotten more of the damage in so far. But Viper and Ariel are going to be looking to take out Dobrain as quickly as possible. Viper, who is taking the least amount of damage. Ooh, and the side air is going to send Dobrain off stage. Chedero, can he make the clutch here against this well-oiled machine of a 1v2 that we've seen make it work already? Back-to-back -back side airs coming out from Chedero. Both players of the red team getting very close to kill percent. Ariel definitely in kill percent at this point. Wall slip coming into effect. It's going to be a jump side air coming out from Viper. Ooh, I thought he was going to get his dodge back in time. I guess he didn't. And that that is going to be the salty run back for Viper and Ariel.